Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we're kicking off our ballin' on a budget MLB 19 the show Diamond Dynasty. MLB the show came out well last night at midnight 11 p.m. Central for me. Um, just got a chance to record this morning and I thought I might try to kick off some Diamond Dynasty to start this year. Um, I never spend any money on the game and I always just figure that most people just want to see pack openings and things like that. But I know there's some people out there like me that don't either can't spend the money on the game or don't really feel like spending money on the game and are looking to get the best team possible um, without spending any money. So that's what I'm here to basically try to do for you guys. You guys are here with me every step of the way. You guys are going to influence me on what players you want me to buy. Just like at the end of this episode, if there's any player you think I should get right off the bat here, at the end of the episode, I think I have like 5,500 uh, stubs. So if you think I should do that, or if you think I should just wait and complete conquest or something with the team I have right now, you'll see who I get at the end of the year or at the end of the episode, um, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section who you think I should buy and what route I should go with this team. But after you complete the opening challenges, you get five challenges to start, two uh, jumping in just to the last innings of some games, and the other ones are just completing some collections. You get a gold live series player, and I ended up getting closer lefty Will Smith from the San Francisco Giants. Um, that's going to be a nice start to my team, just having a closer like that that can dominate. And finish out games is a nice way to go. But I also pre-ordered this game just through my PlayStation. Just had it. Uh, just bought it through my PlayStation. Just the regular $60. Uh, whatever the regular edition is. I didn't pay anything extra for it. But if you do pre-order it. You do get 10 packs. And a Gold Life Series player. As well as 5,000 stubs. So that is one thing. That's the only way I really get to kick off my series. Um, in the right way. Didn't get a whole lot from these packs, but I do end up getting a gold player, obviously, with my uh, guaranteed live, gold live series player. So and basically, the rest of this episode is just me opening the 10 packs and the gold live series player. The uh, You guys will have to see who that is at the end of the episode. You get to choose between you get to choose one out of five, um, which ones, whichever one you want. I don't know if it's the same for everybody that gets that pack or if it just is always different, just five different gold live series players. And I mean, somebody might get lucky with an 84 and somebody might not get higher than an 81. Uh, I don't know if, how it works. You guys have to let me know if you got that pack and who you ended up getting with that. But basically the series, I just want to build and get our team as best as we can. But I want you guys to also have an influence in the series. I want you guys to tell me who to buy at the end of each episode. And by the end of the series, I want to have, you know, some diamonds and some legends and stuff in the squad and see if it is even possible for us to build our way up to that uh, without spending any money on the game. Just straight up, just playing games, getting stubs, selling players, playing the trade market, the marketplace. Uh, just, see, just see where we can get uh, through that process because I know a lot of people and a lot of YouTubers obviously are able to throw some money into the game and just buy some packs. And obviously, even if you don't pack any Anybody good you get a lot of players that you can put into collections you can put um, on the marketplace and you can sell for more stubs to just get more collections and get better players but it's not always that easy when you don't put any money into the game all you get is the game and whatever comes with it you don't get the you don't always get to throw in you know 20 50 dollars on the game every few weeks and that's I mean that's a big boost when you're able to do that but when you can't, it really is just a grind, just playing the games out, taking the time, and that's what I'm trying to do with this series here, this Diamond Dynasty Episode 1, so hope you guys are going to stay along the ride. I'm also going to have a road to the show. I'm not quite sure if I'll have a video out later today or if I'll have one out tomorrow, but sometimes I will. sometime I will be starting Emily the show, uh, road to the show, and then I'll also be doing a franchise when the Operation Sports rosters come out. If you guys are new to the channel, that's what I mainly am all about is the franchises and everything. Right now doing a College Hoops Legacy and an NCAA Football 14 dynasty, Team Builder Dynasty at the moment on the channel. So the the franchise is definitely what I'm going to be all about. But if you guys have any suggestions for teams for the franchise, make sure you comment them now because I will be starting that as soon as the Operation Sports rosters come out with all the minor league players and everything like that. So you probably have a you know a week or two. I'm not quite sure how it usually takes. Usually about that long. But here is my live series gold player: uh, Chad Green, Zach Ranky, Whip Merrifield, and then I also have Craig Kimball, Kimbrell, and Carlos Correa. I wanted to go with Craig Kimbrell, but I thought just to start my team, already having Will Smith taking another bullpen, uh, another reliever was probably not my best case scenario. So I did go with Carlos Correa. I'm not sure if that was the best option or not to go with him, and then I put him in the lineup. So this is what our lineup looks like: got Charlie Blackman and. 
Carlos Correa, the big names in there, as well as Mike Moustakis. So that's a solid start to our Diamond Dynasty, balling on a budget. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, I'm out. Peace.